we are going to see one more application of hamilton's equation of motion that is a two dimensional isotropic harmonic oscillator isotropic harmonic oscillator in terms of cartesian coordinates how we are going to write this equation of motion using hamilton's equation now we can see so generally an isotropic harmonic oscillator in two dimension is like this so it starts vibrating along x direction and along the y direction so to write uh, equation of motion using hamilton's equation of motion first we have to consider hamilton's equation of motion minus pj dot is equal to do q j but here the isotropic harmonic oscillator is moving along x direction and along y direction so hence we have to consider two equation of motions along x direction and along y direction so if you can write this along x direction this hamilton's equation of motion becomes do h by do x and along y direction if you can write it becomes minus py dot is equal to do h by do y now as we know that the first point we have to consider to write the equation of motion is first take the equation of motion of a hamilton's equation next we have to write the hamilton's function hamilton's function so hamilton's function as we know that h is equal to pj qj dot minus l so here p uh, so along x direction also we have to write the h function along y direction also we have to write the h function okay so along x direction if you can write the hamilton's function px qx dot minus l and along y direction if you can write uh, hy is equal to py qy dot minus n let it be equation 3 and let it be equation 4 okay so now we have to write the l value so l is equal to t minus v as we know that okay now what is the kinetic energy of the harmonic oscillator and what is the potential energy of the harmonic oscillator now we have to write so along x and y direction what will be the kinetic energy half m total kinetic energy mx dot square plus half m y dot square along the kinetic energy along x and y directions the total kinetic energy and what about the potential energy half k x square half k y square so for any harmonic oscillator the kinetic energy is equal to half m x dot square half m y dot square this is a two dimensional harmonic oscillator now the potential energy is half k x square plus half k y square okay so this will be the l value let it be equation 6 okay so from this one we can write the px value so px is equal to do l by do x dot so that is equal to what is the value we will get mx dot let it be equation 7 now py how you can get the py is equal to m into y dot so because all these terms doesn't contains uh, y dot so we will get only y dot do l by do y dot that is equal to m y dot let it be equation 8 okay so now therefore if you can write equation 3 becomes what happens h 
x is equal to what is px value you got mx dot dot mx dot minus what is l value half mx dot square minus half m y dot square minus of minus is plus half k x square plus half k y square so along x direction we are right so first we will solve this now h x is equal to we will get half m x dot square minus half m y dot square plus half k x square plus half k y square so we got the hamilton function along x direction now what is the hamilton's equation of motion minus p x dot is equal to 2 h x by 2 x so if you can write this one this first term doesn't have x term the second one doesn't have only this third term is only having the x term so what is the value we will get half k into 2x okay so that is equal to kx so minus px dot so in this So here we will get what is minus ps dot square minus dpx by dt is equal to kx. What is px value? We have obtained minus d by dt of m into x dot. Already we have derived this value. Therefore m into x double dot is equal to kx minus o x double dot is equal to minus k by m into x that implies so along x direction x double dot plus k by m into x is equal to 0 so this is the equation of motion along x direction so what will be the equation of motion along y direction we have to write in the same way so along y direction what is the function so p by y dot minus so what is py value m y dot y dot minus l is half m x dot square minus half m y dot square plus half k x square plus half k y square so that is equal to we will get half m y dot square minus half m x dot square plus half k x square plus half k y square so we got the hamilton along y direction now take the hamilton's equation of motion along the y direction that is 2 h y by 2 y so if you can derive this one what you will get dpy by dt so it doesn't have y term it doesn't have y term it doesn't have y term so we get only ky so minus dy dt of what is py m y dot is equal to k y so we will get m y double dot is equal to minus k y and y double dot is equal to minus k by m into y and y double dot plus k by m is equal to y is equal to zero now hence in the two dimensional isotropic harmonic oscillator the equation of motions of a two dimensional harmonic oscillators are along x direction is x double dot plus k by m into x is equal to 0 along y direction y double dot plus k by m into y is equal to 0 either it may be x or y direction the frequency is equal to angular frequency omega is equal to k by m hope you have understood